Alright, we're in the 76 today. We're hauling out manure out of the beef cow lot at the main farm, which used to be the dairy lot. Now I'm in the 76, got the manure spreader on the back with the gate up, and we're going to start hauling out on the soybean strips across the road at Travis's. Uh, Travis's cows are the ones in the main lot, with the exception of one of mine. And we're hauling out the manure because all the crops are out. So now we got to start hauling out manure, which farms usually tend to do in the fall and the spring. Uh, once they get out in the fields. Now, this type of storage that we're using is just dry storage, and what that is essentially is just pushing the manure all up into a pile in a part of the lot and forgetting about it until you can, can get it out, which it is a perfectly acceptable form of uh, storage, but you, they usually want you to store it uh, under a roof so that the rain can't get on it, because if you store it outside, uh, the rain might cause some leaching. So we're hauling it out today. It's raining a little bit, or it was raining earlier. It's not raining that hard. It was sprinkling and usually you don't want to be hauling out when it's raining, raining because that'll cause compaction on your field. But the ground still looks pretty dry from this standpoint. So let's start hauling out. Our spreader has three speed settings. The first one is slow, which is what we're using now. The second one is fast, which means that the main chain that pushes the manure out the back operates at a faster pace. The beater always remains at the same constant speed, unless you put it on clean, which is the third speed setting, which the chain for the, the, the spreader web moves the fastest, however the beater does not run, and that's only for if you're trying to clean out the very bottom of the spreader. Uh, if you're hauling a lot of liquid, that, re that really comes in handy. We used to do it in the winter when we did dairy. Usually you only want to haul on the slow setting if you're hauling heavy manure, which is what this is. It's heavy, dry packed manure. If we were hauling liquid dairy manure, we would have it on the fast setting because a lot of the liquids would drain out the back and you want the spreader web to move it as fast as you can get it to go so that you kind of evenly mix the manure and not let all the liquids drop, come out at first. load of the day. Essentially it's just a big waiting game, waiting for the snow to fall. After that there's not a whole lot we can do other than the routine stuff, feeding cows and working on stuff that's broke. Yeah we can't spread manure but you're really not supposed to spread manure on top of snow. Granted the first snow we get will not stick around because what needs to happen is for the snow to fall, the snow will hit the ground and then the snow will equalize out the temperature in the ground since the ground is going to be a warmer temperature. After the first snowfall usually, the snow will melt and it will lower the ground temperature. So the second time it snows, usually that's the time that the snow, the snow actually sticks around. And it's probably like that everywhere else that freezes, you get snow every year. But that's how it is for us. It really hasn't rained much today. We had a little sprinkle this morning, but other than that, the weatherman said that it was supposed to rain a lot more than it has, 2 o'clock in the afternoon. 
but no rain so far. I've actually got to wait for the spreader to clean all the way out this time. That's a wrap for today, folks. Thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to check out, out all of our other videos. Be sure to subscribe and be sure to tell all your friends about how farms work. So, I'll see you next time.